Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday, January 13th, which means it's day 13 of beet butter, bacon, egg, and keto chow. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you find all the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time adult people go to bed before 9 p.m., you'll be alerted to it. That sounds weird, and I know there's so many people out there, no, that's when I normally go to bed, not us. I could not believe it, but yesterday we got to go to Universal Studios Orlando with Chris and Miriam. Chris had never been, yep. and Miriam had, hadn't been in over 20 years, so it's a brand new place for yeah. sure. We had a lot of fun, and we ended up staying overnight at, what is the name of this hotel? The Cabana Bay uh, Resort. It is connect. It's a Universal Studios hotel, kind of yeah. like how the All-Stars, yeah. you know, uh, are like connected to Disney. They're second up from their lower tier. It's, it's nice. Not expensive. As an annual pass holder, it's like $95 a night. But what's cool about it is, is you get early admission to the park. So yeah. staying at any of the Universal Resort um, you know, hotels, you get to go in an hour before everybody else, not only on the morning after you stayed here, but also in the morning that you're checking in. Uh, all you have to do on the morning that you're checking in is go to the hotel beforehand, which means you get to, need to get to the hotel at like 6 or 7 a.m. Right. They'll give you like a temporary room key, which will then get you into the park early. We didn't do that, good. but we see the benefit of it. Like right. I'd probably do it yeah. next time. But the whole theme of this hotel is like 1950s. And I am telling you what. It's like coming right out of like I Love Lucy. Right. Or 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 the Doors Day show or something. Yeah. So I feel like my grandparents are going to come out of one of these rooms. It's so cute. They even have an analog alarm clock yeah like i picked it up and i'm like rachel like how cheap is this hotel why is there an analog alarm clock and then it struck me it fits like it fits the theme so i thought that was really cool well even the like conditioner here is vo5 cream rinse and it's got like the old logos when was the and zest soap <laughs> Because you're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean, right? So when was the last time you heard it, it referred to as cream rinse instead right. of conditioner? So yeah. it's been really, really fun. Uh, we got to do something that we didn't, we don't normally get to see. And that was uh, the Hogwarts show. They yeah, had like a light show. show. I actually taped a little bit of it. If if it's salvageable, we'll we'll put it in the the video because of course it was Rachel videoing it. But that was really fun because usually we go up and back in a single Same day again. to it, you know to save expenses. So that was a real treat. I love that. So yesterday it was great because we left early. We left at uh, what. Five o'clock, five thirty in the morning. Yeah, somewhere around there. We drove up. Rachel had like a half a cup of coffee all day. Yeah, like you did good on your coffee. Thank you. And then you know this is one of the awesome things about eating the proper human diet that you're not always thinking about food. No. And so we got up here, got right into it, hit rides, walked a bunch. I walked over ten miles yesterday. Well, I did too. I was right next to you. That's right. And um, around 1.30, we decided to leave the park and we went over to Fogo de Chao for lunch. Brazilian. Lunch prices are always cheaper. Yeah, and, much cheaper. You know, and so we went over there because here's the thing is when you eat in the park, you're going to spend like 20 bucks a person. You're going to get like this sad little hamburger and you don't have any of the sides. And, and like, again, we're doing beef butter bacon. Right. Eggs. You can't even have the lettuce and that kind of topping on there. So we decided to go over there. We ate, 
we came back, we checked into our hotel, and then we got back to the park at like 3.30, and we were good. It was really nice, because I was thinking too, normally, you want to eat two or three times, right. especially if you're at the theme park. So, um, cause you're, you know, you're exercising a lot and you're also seeing a lot of other people eat. Yep. So that kind of brings it to mind. It was such a treat to be able to travel in a keto group mm -hmm. because we all felt the same way. I, I think we almost just went to lunch because I thought we better, we should, right. like, I don't want to make anybody else, you know, be hungry. I don't think Chris and Miriam were, were, were super hungry yet either because right. we were all, you know, fat adapted and, and enjoying keto. But so. again, we didn't want to go late at night. Cause yeah. It's been like $25 more per person. Right. And we wanted to be able to get the full value out of the park. So we're getting ready to, we're supposed to be meeting Chris and Miriam at seven 30. So we got about 15 minutes Yeah, because we want to get to the park early because neither one of them have been on the Hagrid ride. And that's the ride that usually has like a hundred minutes hour wait. Yeah. So we want to get in an early and get online and be able to wait for that, that ride hit a few other things that we weren't able to do yesterday. We're going to get out of here relatively early, probably around three o'clock because we have our live stream tonight. Yay. And I'm glad that they get to participate. Chris and Miriam are doing their live stream yeah, right now. Got, like, We're invading their live stream. Like, uh, do you have enough energy? How are you doing? I feel really good. I mean, especially when you consider it's day two of this vacation. I I feel very energized. I, I got good sleep last night, too. That right. is a factor. You know, you can do a lot more on a good night's rest. Feeling, fell, falling asleep at 8.30, that's kind of interesting. Really helps. Okay, so I have to mention this. Look at these things behind you. Obviously, they're probably M&Ms, but so maybe you can use these on keto. You know poo? You know poo constipation pills. Look at the, the faces on the people on the top. <laughs> that is hilarious. Maybe we need that if you're doing too much carnivore with too much fat. Like, um, you know poo pills. Yeah, yeah. No more poo, please. It's a brand new day. It is a new day, and I can't believe we're up. Like, I am up oh and excited. Gosh. I thought we would be more tired. I, I mean, I tried to watch an episode of TV last night. You were, you were, you were out in two minutes. Like I hit the pillow and good night. And unfortunately I had to take my aura ring off to charge. So I don't know how I did, but I attempted to watch an episode of the Sopranos and How'd that go. Yeah. Opening credits. I no, I was, put, I was halfway through the one that I was trying to watch. And I think I got two more minutes in and then I fell asleep. And then I woke up about four hours later oh, and wow. I had to go to the restroom, but it never turned off. Like it was still playing. So I went back to where I felt I left off because when I wake up in the middle of the night, it takes me a little bit to go back to bed. And yeah, I think I basically <laughs> fell asleep at the same part. Like we were tired. It's a new season. But uh, we had to get up early this morning. Rachel has to go film uh, early morning or church announcements for Sunday. Yes. And I'm excited, but also just a little bit ner nervous, like a flutter of nervousness, because it's something I've never done before. Mm -hmm. And anytime you're trying something new, it brings with it a little bit of, ugh, I, I, d I don't like not knowing what to do. Yeah. Well, you know, when you talk about that fear for at least for us, keto has helped us overcome fear. Yeah. Right. I think it's it's helped at least for us. Remember, not doctors or nurses or health professionals, but it has helped us with anxiety and fear of doing things. We, you've talked about the fear of the paddleboard. Yeah. Right. And we've talked about fear of eating more food. Right. Oh, yeah. Or fear of eating beef. Right. Society tells you you want to lose weight, eat less food. Right. It's all about calories in and calories out. It's all about if you want to lose weight, eat less food. Well, how's that been working for you in the past? Right. Because. Not great for me. You know what? You're getting ready to celebrate your four-year anniversary. I'm coming up on my five-year anniversary, And what I've learned over the last five years and a lot of in just the last six months, the more food I eat, the better I do. The yeah. more food I eat the more weight I lose, the more body recomposition I have. What's the difference? I'm eating more beef, right? I'm eating more of whole foods, but a lot of those foods are foods that society says you shouldn't be eating. Yeah, I do think that you have to 
kind of hook into your adventurer spirit mm -hmm. when you're trying keto. I mean, when we went to Universal Studios, I love seeing that spirit of adventure in Miriam. Oh my gosh, she yes. It was in the past kind of a little bit scared of um you know, roller coasters and Universal Studios has some doozies. Yeah, they have a lot of roller coasters. In fact, when she mentioned after we made all these plans at Universal, Universal Studios and, you know, we asked Chris was like, I love roller coasters. And Miriam's like, mm. ah, I get a little queasy. And we're thinking like, oh my gosh, like, are we bringing them to a place where Miriam's not going to have a good time? Yeah. And wow, she overcame her fears. And I think some of that, I'm not going to say all of it, but I think some of that comes from keto, right? I really feel like keto helps us with our mental clarity and our mental fear and overcoming those things. It certainly helps you get onto the rides and fit into the seats. Yeah. But that woman rode every single roller coaster with us. Well, and what I loved about being next to her during that was she was truly proud of herself mm -hmm. and took a moment to acknowledge that. Like she said out loud, I did some hard things. Yeah. I, I did it. I was able to do that. And I think sometimes we don't take a moment to just acknowledge, I just did that. I don't need you to, to throw me a party, but I knew, do need to just take a moment and say, man, this is something that before I would have put myself in the category of does not ride all the rides at the park. Mm -hmm. And now we can move me to a new classification, did every single ride. Right. And I think that because we've started keto and you're already putting yourself in a new box, right? Your meat eater box right. or your keto box. And you're like, okay, I am going to be doing some new things. And then once you're successful with that, you wonder to yourself, well, what other new things can I do? Yeah. I got so, some new things over here. Okay. Well, I did want to mention Mail. one thing though. So... I do apologize that we didn't vlog a lot during the trip, but we wanted to be present in the moment with our friends. Yeah. And that's something we've talked about. And that's something I want you to do. Like, be present in the moment. We've talked about the holidays. The holidays should be about family and friends, not about the food aspect. And so we, you know, we did try to focus more on hanging out with people who we get to see once or twice a year. Yeah. Right? But to let you know what we, that what we do yesterday, if you didn't see our live stream... We got up early, right? We were at the park at 7.30 a.m. No breakfast because we didn't have free breakfast or anything in, in the hotel. And Rachel had a little tiny cup of hotel room coffee. Hotel room coffee. It was just all that was there. I right? did my best. That, that's what we had. At least it was... Um, not a Keurig, but like a Cuisinart type of thing. So it wasn't so terrible. So yeah. yeah. So we had that, and then we went all day in the park. Because again, you know, you have X amount of time before we had to leave to get home to the live stream, and we didn't want to miss everything, and we were blessed with getting on rides like that. Boom, like, boom, no boom. lines, really. And then uh, we left around 3 o'clock, and people say you can't do keto on the road, right? So, you, you know what we though. did? You had four of us. We stopped at Wawa, and we got some gas. We had some pork rinds. Yes. And we had some purse bacon that we had made the day before. It was delicious. And we had some hard-boiled eggs that we got at Wawa. And then we stopped at 7-Eleven because, again, it was like, okay, fast food. What are you going to eat? What are we going to eat? I don't really want McDonald's. And we all got hot dogs. Beef hot dogs. And they had all beef hot dogs at 7-Eleven. They were delicious. Like three for $5. And so we got six hot dogs and we split that amongst ourselves. And then we came home and as Chris and Miriam were playing with the Oculus. We threw some frozen hamburgers on the grill. We had some Keto chow chili that I made the day before, a few days before, which is just a great meal prep and it's good standalone, but it's also good on top of burgers and hot dogs. It and tastes things better like that. and better every day. We fried up some eggs and that was it. It wasn't a big giant food day. 
But it was a delicious food day and it allowed us to focus on our friends. I feel like we fed. And I think we spent less than 10 minutes cooking. Well, and I feel like we spent less than $30 for four grown up adults. Oh, absolutely. To eat. So talk about you can do it on the cheap even on the road. Well, even, I think it's amazing. You think about it. So we made, we, we had some leftover hamburgers that I made the other day that were already cooked because I made four and we only ate two of them. So we yeah. ate those. And then Chris and Miriam ate the, what is it? The bacon jalapeno cheddar burgers. I don't know if they have jalapeno. Oh no, the bacon cheddar burgers yeah. from Sam's Club. We've shown them before. They're frozen. You pay like $20 for that box. And that is just delicious food, right? I thought it was funny. My mom came over just to, to get her hug because you could get a hug, right. right? It's harder to get one in Utah when she's living here. So she came over for a hug and she said, do you know that I actually joined Sam's Club for those hamburgers? Like wow. those hamburgers are so good. I got myself a membership for those hamburgers. Well, we're going on. You got mail there. I got yeah. mail there. Which one do you want to do first? I'm going to open this. Well, I'll show this while you're trying to pull that out of the envelope. Yeah. We've got a bag of beef, beef gelatin, gelatin. Because you all are so thoughtful. You are awesome. This is from Shell, and she thought we might like to try this as a thickener wow. on beef, butter, bacon, egg. Because, Thank yes. Thank you. Gelatin, if you didn't know, like gelatin, when you're making jello and stuff, Shell. it comes from beef. Thank you. That was so thoughtful. That is so awesome. Talk Thank of, you so much. You know, and this is actually the brand that I use. You know what? You're never too far into this that you don't really truly appreciate when someone tries to help propel your personal goals. Right. So thank you for that because this actually helps us to stay on track and meet our goals. And by the way, while you're opening that up, our Nancy. coffee is uh, got two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of vanilla keto chow. It's really, it. it's really good. It's, yeah. if so it's I, a tablespoon of butter a piece. A couple of days without, you know, a keto chow coffee, when you get it back, you're like, oh yeah. Cause it's, it thickens it up too. Right. So this is from Nancy Klein. Thank you, Miss Nancy. It's actually a thank you card. I'm why thank you, Miss Nancy. And look inside. Oh my gosh. There's some beautiful oh, earrings. Oh my gracious. Thank you. Let me see these. I'm going to bring these. You're going to see those in my morning announcements. I'm going to change my earrings. Look at that. Those are those gorgeous. Are really I love the color blue too. Yeah. I just I do. know it's not like your birthstone. Well, actually it is. Is it really? A sapphire. But a sapphire is usually like a darker blue. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. But, but I really enjoy like cobalt and like an almost a turquoise blue. That's, I like I love any it. kind of blue. Blue and red on you. That's what I like on you. Well, thank you. I like blue on you. I, that's one of my faves. So dear Rachel and Joe, happy holidays. Thank you for your YouTube channel. Sorry, Joe. These earrings are for Rachel. Fondly, I if I can still, Nancy. Maybe he, I can still get it in the I was going to say, he, he hasn't actually been an earring has in that hole in like 15 years. A long time. He used to have one of those, like the big gauge ones. Yeah. But, well, thank you so much, Nancy. And, and it's... Thank you so much. The thank you is for you. Thank you so much for sharing your days with us. We really, really appreciate that. Okay, we're going to get going. I know we've been rambling for a little while, but we had to catch up with you guys, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, you're going to head out. You're going to go do early morning announcements. I actually have to set up a computer for the new campus. We you got cutting. One more. I got some cutting. Don't know quite what lunch is going to be. I don't know if we want to keep it simple one more day and have burgers, or do we want to go steak or something like that? Can we that? keep it simple? I'm going to put in my request. Whatever simple looks like, let's do simple. I'm just going to let you know. So we're going to start next week's vlog, uh -huh. like the Monday vlog. We're going to start it on Sunday. Right. Because Chris and Miriam are going to come back over. Yes. And little secret for you. They don't know this yet. But don't tell them. We're going to make prime rib for them on the smoker and then in the sous vide. So, yeah. Yeah. So maybe we'll keep it simple one more day and then we'll do some roasts and stuff wow. like that tomorrow. There's the salt. I was like, where happened to our salt? I have so <laughs> many of these salt shakers and I can't ever find them when I want them. When you need it. So oh, it's you. the afternoon and uh, got home from work. We got all our cutting done. Rachel got everything done she needed at church. I did. And I did it. I did it. How did the announcements go? It went really well. Like, we were so worried. Matt, who is in charge of all of our re video recording and production. Nemo. Nemo. I know he'll forever be He's known Nemo as me. his nickname. 
Um, but yeah, he was super, super patient and, and just awesome <laughs> with me. And we got all of that done and now I'm home and I've been cleaning yeah. like a fiend because Chris and Miriam are coming over on Sunday, Sunday after the conference. After the conference. And I prime rib. I know. Don't tell them. No, we're not gonna tell them. Don't tell them, okay? Um, but yeah, and I found out that somebody who is allergic, like Chris is, to furry, fuzzy animals like Tabitha and mm. our cats actually do better if you clean a couple of days ahead of time instead yeah. of just like vacuuming. Because you don't want to put it up in the air when you're vacuuming. Exactly. So I want to go ahead and give it time to kind of settle and, you know, yeah. all the cleaning stuff. So uh, in the middle of everything, I'm editing some vlogs. I'm setting up a computer for church. We're going to have a little bit of lunch. I'm going to make like a I sandwich. Said, we're keeping it a little simple today. So we just got a couple of eggs from the girls in the backyard. Thanks, ladies. A couple slices of bacon and one slice of uh, the pre the PSMF bread. But this is the we'll one that out. I add a little bit of the chicken keto chow to. It's very tasty. These eggs are perfect. They're runny. Mm. The perfect way to do it. Yours are like medium cooked. Like, so they're medium not rain. juicy. But they're not overcooked, but you've got bread, which is why I did it that way. I super Trying appreciate Trying to get you your vitamins in. We were talking about this during the live stream, right? Like, what is what is your favorite way to cook eggs versus what is the healthiest way to eat eggs? So if you want to know the healthiest way to eat eggs, cooking the whites because right. you're going to get more of the protein when you cook the whites. I'm totally on board for that. But the yolks, you actually want to have them as runny as possible. Because the more you cook them, the more you degrade the vitamins. And so when you overcook the yolks, you're not getting as many of the vitamins and nutrients. So I feel like having a runny egg yolk is really the best way. But if you soft boil them, um, if you get them to they're not overly cooked, you're doing better, but not as good as you're doing it this way. Uh, I need bread. <laughs> you got bread. Yeah. And we got bacon. So we're going to eat. And then you said you're going for a walk with Tabitha and stuff. I am. We're going for, for a nice long hike together she's resting up right now she doesn't know what's coming i'm having some homemade mineral water with our modified soda stream we need to show how we made this how we modified our soda stream you don't need to do it this way to have a soda stream it just makes it a lot cheaper if you don't mind having a, a five tank. pound thing of co2 on your counter yeah which rachel kind of does but i'm doing it anyway Well, we got our new monitors in, so we were able to update the studio from what you guys saw in the vlog the other day. Now, if you saw that vlog, you would see that we had these two 32-inch monitors on a big external tripod, and it made everything really bulky. It took up more room, so like I said in the vlog, we wanted to change things around, and we got three new monitors, so I wanted to go ahead and show you what everything looks like now. We went on Amazon and bought three identical monitors. These are HP monitors. Uh, they were pretty cheap. Like I said, I got them on Amazon. They're not 4K monitors, but I don't need 4K for what we're doing in the studio. So we have one monitor right here, which is the main computer monitor. That's like the main screen where I can control everything. Then it extends the desktop up to this monitor. And that's where we like put all the chat. So when we're live streaming, we can see the YouTube window, make sure everything is okay. And that's where we read the chat from. And then down here is basically the control panel for the ATEM that allows me to see everything that's going on, whether we're live, what audio you're hearing, we see the desktop, all of the different camera angles. We actually set up one of the other cameras now, so you can actually see like there's the side camera and we still need to set up the other one again. But I like having the multiple camera angles. Let us know down in the comment section, do you like it when we use multiple angles? What's really cool about this is we had talked about getting a giant television for the back wall. But with my eyesight, it probably still would be a hard time. So now we have one right here. And what's cool is now when we're looking up prices or looking on a website or reading comments, we're looking right into the camera. So you can see there and then here's like different comments and we can just like click on them right here. 
no more facing away from the camera. So this is a great setup. The last thing I wanna be able to do is actually see if I can find a table mount for our camera, but it's gotta be on like an articulating arm so we can move it away and closer. And that would allow us to get rid of that final tripod there and have everything contained just on the desk. So I wanted to show you the modifications that we made to our SodaStream to save even more money. So this is the SodaStream that we have. This is the SodaStream Fizzy One Touch. Now the One Touch actually requires electricity. Uh, and what it is is when you plug it in, it's got three buttons on the top that are gonna basically determine how much carbonation you add to the water. So you can have it on like light, average, and then extra fizzy. So all you do is press one button and it automatically puts in the amount of CO2 that you need. They also have the fizzy without one touch and also all of the older models. And those just have like a manual pump on them and you keep pressing it until you've added the amount of CO2 that you want. Now the modification that we're making, it will work on any of the old machines, both SodaStream and ones from like KitchenAid. If so long as they took the SodaStream canisters, this will work. It won't work on the new machines like the SodaStream Terra. Now you'll know the difference if you have the old one or the new one based on the canister that it comes with. So this is the one that the Fizzy One Touch and the Fizzy and all the older ones come with. The label is blue. The labels that are pink, those won't work and those machines won't work. Because what it is, is this one, you actually have to screw it into the machine and the new ones uh, are like quick connect. And so you can't do it with this. Now, the reason we're doing this is this canister here, you get one of them with the machine and then you can buy extra ones. This costs 30 bucks. If you wanna refill it, like when it's empty, you either go on their website and say, hey, I need a refill, or you can go to like Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, and a lot of other stores. You bring them the empty one and then they give you a new one for 15 bucks. So this is basically $15 every time you need to refill it. And one of these canisters, they say will give you up to 60 liters, so 60 refills in their bottles. Now, that also depends on how much carbonation you add. So if you're adding more carbonation than average, you're gonna get obviously less. So what we did was, instead of relying on them and their proprietary top, I ordered an adapter online, and I'll leave a link for this down below, and basically it's this. It's a hose with an adapter that has the same threads as the top of the soda stream canister, and then a piece that goes onto an external CO2 tank, which is what I have right here. This here is a five pound CO2 tank. So I got this at a local beer and wine store, a place that you can rent kegs of beer. You can also get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, now, if you order on Amazon, it's gonna come empty, whereas where I bought it, it included the first fill. So you can get these for anywhere between $50 to about $100, depending on where you get it. And if you're getting a brand new one or you're getting an old one. Some people even use paintball canister ones, but I just wanted an aluminum food grade one that I knew was brand new and cleaned inside. The reason we're doing this is, like I said, $15 for one of these. And this here holds about six of these. That's the difference. So this here to refill, for me, it costs $12. Now I've seen some places it costs 20 but still $20 for six refills or $15 for one refill. That's why we're doing this. So you need the canister and then you need this hose and the other end of this hose goes on the top of the canister. So let me show you how I did this. So if you look on the back of the SodaStream uh, machine, you pull off this back and that's right there where your canister goes. What I did is I notched a little hole in the bottom and you could just drill a hole into the back itself, but I just notched a hole in the bottom because there was already one there for the plug. And I took this hose here and I ran it up. And then this adapter screws up where the soda stream machine goes. On the hose for this side, there's a quick connect. So you just put this on like that and it connects one, two, three. And then like I said, the other end goes onto your CO2 machine. Now I can just kind of cover this up and this is what you see in the front. So now once everything is hooked up, all you have to do is, like I said, we're storing ours in the back. We're gonna go ahead and just turn on the CO2 on here. We're gonna put that back there. Then we take our bottle that we fill up to the water line they have on the bottle. We go ahead and we put it in, and then we choose our fizzy level. I like to usually pick the medium to the high one, so we'll just press that button. And 
and we're done. Now we just go ahead and screw that up. Now, if you're gonna add any kind of flavorings or anything like that, this is when you do it. Or you can do it when you go to drink it, which is a lot of times what I do because I was adding the flavorings, but then I don't know what flavor I made it. So a lot of times I just keep everything all plain, except for I add the daily mineral drops to almost every one of them. I put like 15 drops in there. Uh, but then if I want like a lemon lime or a cherry or something like that, I add that when I go to drink it. So we have a whole bunch of keto chow to give away. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're gonna be giving away all of the keto chow over the course of several videos. So here is what every single winner is going to get. One of each of these flavors. One pumpkin spice, one eggnog, one chocolate peanut butter, one banana, one strawberry, one natural strawberry, one root beer float, sorry for that, one snickerdoodle, and one chocolate. So I better start packing. How many winners are we gonna have? 40. So there's gonna be 40 winners over the course of several videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and more importantly, you hit that bell button so that you're notified when each video goes up. Well, we did it. We did it, but I I messed up somewhere. I got two extras. So somewhere, somebody is short. And somebody's eggnog, missing an eggnog. And, a, and somebody's missing chocolate peanut butter. And there's no way I'm reopening 40 of these to figure out who it is. So no. if you didn't get an eggnog, whoever wins, or you didn't get a chocolate peanut butter. Sorry. Sorry, but... We also, didn't mean it. it is free, so please don't start messaging us going, I didn't get my eggnog or I didn't get my chocolate I peanut butter. I got shorted. We apologize. We want to thank Keto Chow for supplying all of this yeah. for the giveaway. Uh, also wanted to mention, we forgot to mention before, every one of the winners also gets one of these Two Crazy Ketos wristbands. And fun. One side says Two Crazy Ketos, and then the other side says, What's, What's your, your beef, beef with, with bacon? bacon? Well, since we've done this, you want to give five of them away right now? Let's do it. Okay, here's what you need to do. You are going to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You're going to make sure you hit the like button on this video. And also leave a comment down below. Any comment you want. Um, we're going to pick the winner. I'm not quite sure what day this vlog is going to come out. So we're going to put the date that the winner is going to be picked down in the description. Five winners. And then we will post the announcement on the community channel. And a lot of people do message us like, how do I find the community channel? If you go to youtube.com slash two crazy ketos, that brings you to our main YouTube page. And all you got to do is to go down the bottom and see community. But if you are subscribed and you hit the bell button for notifications, It'll just show up in your Facebook, or not your Facebook, in your YouTube feed that, hey, here is the winner. Now, I'm going to have one request. Okay. Now, we can't make this mandatory. No. But I would love these two, or as many of these as possible, to go to people who have not yet tried Keto Chow. So, if you win, if we pick your name and you want us to pick somebody else, just let us know. But if you still want to, maybe you want to give it to somebody else, there give it go. to a relative or something. At least share one pack with somebody. Yeah, that is fine. But we want to get Keto Chow into as many hands as possible. So if you want to leave a comment and don't really want to win, just add on to like, you know, your little comment. Hey, if you pick me, choose somebody else. So, but again, not mandatory, just something that I'd like to get it out. Now, if you are interested in Keto Chow, there's a link down below, and that link will always get you 10% off your entire order on anything except for subscriptions. Feel how cold it is outside. These came right out of Aww, the chicken coop. Oh, poor thing. It's like 50 degrees outside. I'm so sorry. It's going to actually make your coffee colder because we were trying to use fresh eggs, but they're not warm right now is it weird that i love when they have freckles on them yeah so this so is cute these are from the gray one the, yeah you know the gray easter egger mm -hmm. and she lays in a different spot so you always have to go look for them she doesn't go she's an easter egg hunt <laughs> <laughs> i know that you are trying to discuss with me the need for only wet food but you need to have some dry food too
Roscoe has gotten spoiled. Well, let's face it. Roscoe has always been spoiled. He is the king of the jungle. He is in charge of this house. Always has been. Always will be. Whenever a new animal has come in, whether they were a new permanent family member or somebody visiting. He vets them. He Yeah, he immediately walks oh, up. thanks for the butt. <laughs> right in my face. Gives them a little talking to and goes, I'm in charge here. Just want you to know <clears throat> who's the boss. Right out of the gate. Good morning. Bet you're wondering what happened to dinner last night. It didn't happen. We were really tired. I think a couple of days at the theme park well, on top of your regular work really You got to figure, so to Wednesday morning, we left for Universal Studios. We got up at 3.30 a.m. Well, and that right? was after a whole long day Tuesday. Yeah, we had a long day Tuesday. Got up at 3.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Went to Universal. Spent all day at Universal. Did fall asleep relatively early, but we walked like 11 or 12 miles in Universal Studios. So <laughs> uh, then got back up did it again. 5.36 a.m. on Thursday, did it, worked our whole lives, worked, did the whole day, did the live stream, went to bed at like midnight or yeah. later because after the live stream, we hung out with Chris and Miriam for a while. Then I was back up at five the next then morning. Then you got back up at five. So I, last night was like a crash night. Yeah. It was funny because Chris and Miriam actually called us at about like 6.30, 7 o'clock and, and we're like, hey... Um, do you want to go grab some Texas Roadhouse? And, and I was Rachel's already like, in my pajamas. She's in pajamas and she's like, I'm exhausted. And we just, we never ate dinner. We just didn't eat dinner. If we fell asleep and didn't eat dinner. Do not answer the call to friendship and, um, prime rib. You're tired. Yeah. Like that's the indicator. But here's the cool thing. So we didn't eat dinner. It is now, hmm. thank you very much for that. Just one more, one more look. It is now like 9.30. I'm still not really hungry. That is That's like really weird, but true. One of the things about, you know, eating the proper human diet, eating protein and fat, trying to keep it one to one, you can go a while. If you miss a meal, it's, you don't get that ravenous, like, oh gosh, I, I'm so hungry. I'm going to die. Right? You don't feel that you like don't. you do when you're eating a lot of carbohydrates. So here's something that's weird. This morning, Anthony got up because he was going out for the day. And I guess they were like packing a picnic or something. Mm -hmm. And so he had cooked up some bacon inside. And when I woke up to the smell of bacon, because you cannot. Bacon wakes you up. You can't sleep through bacon. I have proven that you can sleep through a hurricane, but you cannot sleep through the cooking of bacon. So I woke up and I looked at Joe and I was like, Mm, I'm hungry. No, I had just smelled bacon and that smell was like, I think I'm hungry. Right. Right. So we're having this cup of coffee and right now I feel perfectly fine. Not no longer hungry. Yeah. So well, I think it was just a craving. We are having a little bit of a meal. So this is one pot split between the two of us. Each one has one tablespoon of butter and one egg. Now it's a small egg. It's it's one of those green eggs, it but it's still egg. an egg. So yeah. I figure it's about it 60 calories, probably about 10 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein. But this is a great little meal. Um, later on in the day, we're gonna probably just eat. We still have a little bit of leftover chili. We have a couple of burgers. Uh, because tomorrow we're going to be having prime rib with Chris and Miriam. Yeah. So it, it for us today <clears throat> is going to be a really busy day because we're going away for six days. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to vlog today. Today is a lot of like packing up, you know, making sure everything works good with the trailer and, you know, getting stuff ready for church and everything for a week where we're not going to be home. And honestly, and I don't know if anybody else is like this, but my, I am an extroverted introvert mm -hmm. meaning you don't think i'm shy or need to power up to people but i do right so like i charge my battery and rest and then i i can people and i love being out um, around people and then i have to come back and charge my battery again it's like very very weird so i just know that we will have a better time at the tampa rv show if I take some time to just kind of charge up and like rest and all of that stuff. Now if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we stay home or go someplace else, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye. bye.